You're like a coconut, like you can crack open your head and there's a smaller Greg underneath. <laughs> Fact. The third most popular person in Germany, David Hasselhoff. The top two most famous people in Germany, two cousins drinking. Today we're two cousins drinking Hofbrau Original from Germany. Sehr gut. Ein paar Worte für unser Publikum. Ich heiße Johann und ich trinke Alkohol mit meinem Cousin Gregor. Und heute wir trinken Bier auf Bären. Ja? Ja. Alles klar, der Kommissar. Shall we start enjoying the beer in one fashion or another? How many fashions do we have? It is... All of your senses will be tantalized, Greg. That I promise you. Your sense of wonder, most it's of all. Crystal clear. Very. Super extra crystal, crystal clear. <laughs> crystal clear. Crystal clear. Yeast and carbonation. Little uh, clove, maybe? Via trinking via? Prost. Prost. It's nowhere near as light as I thought it would be. That's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a heaviness to it. I was totally unexpected. It tastes kind of like what I expected, but there's more going on. I was expecting it to be a little blander. It is maybe a clovey thing going on. It's yeah. Very crisp, very, very crisp carbonation. Ooh, that's really good. <laughs> I can see drinking giant liter steins of this. It's sort of... Hoppier than I expected? It's like the Germans know how to make beer or something. This specific beer is from the region of Bavaria in the city of Munich. Hofbrau München. Which is owned by the Bavarian state. The Hof in Hofbrau comes from the... means court. Because it was the brewery, the brewery of the court. The oh, royal brewery. Does that mean... Hasselhoff irritates the courts. Ooh, he's the court jester. And by the way, Puerto Rico, do not litter. <laughs> <laughs> Just one specific region. Ouch, Puerto Rico, ouch. There's some, some sort market. of animosity between Germany and Puerto Rico I don't know about. Maybe each, <laughs> maybe different bottles say different things. <laughs> Philippines, get your shit together. <laughs> Greg, do you know the stats of this German lager? 5.1% ABV. It was founded in 1589 by the Duke of Bavaria, Wilhelm Funf. After World War II, soldiers returned with uh, the big old mugs with the logo on it as a souvenir, which mm -hmm. turned uh, Hofbrau into a huge tourist destination for Americans when they came back because everybody saw these mugs in people's houses. What are your numbers? It's crisp and refreshing. I'm enjoying a 95. I want another 95. I'm enjoying this in 84 and I want another in 95 as well. Cheers. Prost. Prost. Sehr gut. Unser zweites Bier, Greg. Hofbrau. Hofbrau. Auf München, Deutschland. We talk about marketing. And I would like to start by talking about their website that first asks you if you are 16 to enter. <laughs> I told uh, my family about that. Which sounds awesome until you have a 15-year-old kid. I like their website for being quite thorough and full of details and history. Mm -hmm. Which I would hope they would have since they're such an historic brewery. For an older beer, I like it to keep it simple and classic, which they do. Yep. I'd be very I, disappointed if they tried to modernize it and do something silly. Puerto Rico. <laughs> Quit buttering. Look, there's just like one... Whoever's in charge of labels is some racist guy. And, or like his girlfriend left him for a Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> He's making the label. <laughs> or I'll get him. Blue! Do you realize you can see around behind my head with my glasses? 
I thought you just had a weird head that shrunk right there. No, it's no, like that, that's all I can see. Thanks. I see a smaller head inside your bigger head. You're like a coconut that like you can crack open your head, and there's a smaller Greg underneath. Bottom of the second beer, two strikes, one out. What are your numbers on this beer? How are you enjoying it? How much do you want another? Ninety ninety five. Going Ooh. up in these. I'm gonna hold strong at Funf und Neunzig. I'm enjoying it ninety five. I want another ninety five. All right, finish. Hilarious. <laughs> It's boot time for drink number three. It is a boot time for drink number three. I am an internet star. What about if you're going on a one-way trip to Mars and you offer this beer, not knowing what they might offer next? It might offer something you hate next. Would you take it? It's the only beer you're going to get the rest of your life. I think that would be quite enjoyable. Yeah, they don't. You don't know what they're gonna offer. They might offer your favorite beer next. They might offer you something horrid next. Old English eight hundred might be on the menu. <laughs> Wait, so but, if I say no, so if I said no to this, I can't go back. They say, well, then it's old English. But it might also be like lush. <laughs> you don't know. Sort of Price is right game show moment. What celebrity that we never fiction are you gonna drink this with? And this is the only drink you'll ever be able to drink with that person. I would drink this with Sam Neill. I approve. What about you, Greg? I would say uh, Father Cornelius from The Fifth Element, played by Ian Holm. Blow! You're at a wedding and this beer asks you to dance. What song is playing? Say Viennese Waltz. Was that a... Did you have a motorcycle go by your house, too? Yeah. Did you have one also? Yeah, same <laughs> You bring this to a party, what does it say about you? What impression do you give off? I think you look like a classy gentleman. It's German beer. What what present what past or present popular dance style is this? <laughs> uh, how many of these would you drink to impress Tina Turner? This is crisp. Um, we're almost done with three, and it's still crisp and fresh, new and refreshing and magical and delightful. I'm still enjoying this. I would go too far. Who knows? There's, I can't put a number. Blue edited it so I sound logical and classy and smart. you got damn near three of these. What are you going to do? What do you want to do? I want to build a bench or a chair. What are your final numbers? I'm holding strong. I'm still enjoying this. 95. I would have another 95. I'm going to go up to 95, and I would have another a 99. Wow! It saddens me I only have three. By the way, everyone, we are Two Cousins Drinking. I'm JP. And I'm Greg. And we drank Munich Specialty Hofbrau Original Bear today, and we enjoyed it thoroughly. Indeed. Greg? It's John. been something. It has.